How to bulk upload NFTs on OpenSea. Easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can bulk upload NFTs on OpenSea. So let's get into it. Now, OpenSea is one of the largest NFT markets out there. It has hundreds and thousands of collections as well as some super recognizable collections. Even people that are not present in the NFT space would definitely recognize such as the Board A Biot collection and other collections. So it's super essential that you are able to market your NFTs properly whenever you are trying to launch a collection on OpenSea. Now, if you want to market your NFTs properly, then you want to upload them at a specific time. So you can list that time on all of your advertisements, all your Twitter handles, all things like your NFT calendar website listing. So all of these platforms focus on you know the hype around the nft collection and if you want to be able to create that hype and have a specific launch date a specific launch time then you want to be able to bulk upload all of your nfts in that collection together so if i'm releasing a collection called jane's characters so i want to release all of that collection at once however if i go into the create section on OpenSea, it only allows you to upload one nft at a time which will consume a lot of time and you won't be able to properly launch your collection or upload your collection all at once and this will you know it can deter a lot of people's proper schedule for when they want their collection to be uploaded how they want everything to be timed so for this purpose we can bulk upload nfts using nifty mint so nifty mint is a platform that allows you to bulk upload your nfts on OpenSea, and especially if you're someone that's largely in it for profit then you want to be able to optimize your time and upload as many NFTs as you possibly can. So this platform allows you to publish your NFTs to OpenSea and Rarible all at once at one specific time and you have full metadata support full ownership it's echo friendly with custom smart contracts available as well and this will allow you to have your proper nft launch now how do you use nifty mints to upload on OpenSea? it's very simple you're just going to log into your account or if you don't have one simply click on create a new account and you can sign up with google twitter or facebook now i'm going to click on i already have an account and i will log into my account over here and i will show you guys how you can bulk upload your nfts and for some people that are creating you know hundreds and thousands of nfts in a singular collection uploading them one by one is simply far too time consuming and nifty mint allows people even that do not know how to code so even if you don't know how to code you will still be able to use nifty mint to get started with actually uploading your nfts in a bulk form rather than having to upload individually so once you have created your account or logged onto your account this will be your dashboard on your dashboard you're just going to click on new collection and let's say i'm just going to name this characters and i will just click on next over here now once you do that you can drop your image and metadata files for upload so this allows you to have full control of your metadata as well which is amazing considering a lot of other platforms really do leave out metadata and it can be a little annoying when you have so much effort put into certain things and they are just left there without having you know any consideration so let's say i just uploaded these three random images these are not actual nfts these are just images i am using as a sample now after that i can add individual metadata files so i can attach individual metadata files to this specific nft and this will allow me to make sure that all of my nfts have you know their metadata so i'm just going to select this i will click on open and I have added a metadata file to this. Now, you can add it to all of your NFTs. These are just samples, so it's fine by me even if they don't have metadata. However, once you have added all of the NFTs that you want to bulk upload on OpenSea, what you're going to do is you're just going to click on publish over here. You will see your current balance, your spending, and the new balance, and you will click on confirm, and that is it. Now, 
all you have to do is make sure you are logged on to your OpenSea account. So you have linked your crypto wallet to your OpenSea account and you are logged on. And that is all it takes for you to upload your collection onto your OpenSea account. You can upload as many NFTs as you want all together. So we're just waiting for these to be published. And it just takes a couple of minutes. You can leave them as they are. You can just leave the program running and you can see our NFTs are being minted on the blockchain. It might take a few minutes. Now you can see over here, my wallet has been connected. If you are creating your account for the first time, your wallet might not be connected. Now just make sure it's the same wallet that you previously had. So we're just going to click on got it and we're just going to confirm our wallet address. I'm pretty sure I linked a different wallet uh, to my Nifty Mints and then to my OpenSea account, but I can always switch wallets later on as well. So I'm just gonna click on copy and I can actually go into MetaMask. I can go into OpenSea and I can actually switch my accounts. So you can see over here, my NFTs have been published. Now it's just going to take a couple of seconds. And if I click on over here, I can click on show on OpenSea. And you can see just like that, my NFT has been uploaded. And that is all it takes. This will allow you to have a simple minting time and all of your NFTs will be consecutively uploaded. You don't need to worry about anything and you don't need to actually spend time individually adding all that information. You can simply add the, all of the information together on Nifty Mint. And once you've entered the information, you can hit on upload and your NFTs will be uploaded. So this is an amazing application, however, it is not available for free. They do give you 30 credits or 30 NFTs that you can upload directly for free from their platform. And after that, you actually have to pay to actually be able to use their bulk uploading features. However, I do think that the price that you pay for this amazing feature it's a lot less effort than all of the coding that you would usually have to do to be able to do a bulk upload like this. So so that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms. And if you have any details that you might want to know, any suggestions, any improvements that you think that I could add on to these videos, then please do leave them in the comment box down below and I will make future videos according to those. And if you have any specific topics that you look forward to, also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video